weeks ago, hospitals in Texas stopped elective surgeries to prepare for a surge in COVID-19 cases. And now Governor Abbott has ordered those restrictions lifted on certain procedures. That starts tomorrow, but as health reporter Haley Hernandez tells us, there will still be delays for some patients. With surgeries and procedures on hold, many people have been waiting for this week, but some are finding that even though the restrictions are lifted, that doesn't mean they're getting in to see the doctor. Abby started having ear infections at the beginning of the year and has had back-to-back, -back, four back-to-back -back ear infections since January. It was double ear infections too, so <laughs> poor kid. It's a painful problem many parents deal with. Recurring ear infections mean Ann Erlocker's 11-month-old daughter Abby needed ear tubes. Her March surgery was canceled. I've had her into the doctor in between um, then and now to make sure that her ears were all right. Even though restrictions will ease up this week, Anne still has to wait until May to see the doctor. It is putting a strain on our family, but at the same time, we understand. Catherine Messina is also having to wait. She was shocked when her mom's surgery was canceled last month. You would have thought that heart valve replacement was considered elective surgery. In February, Catherine's 78-year-old mom, Yvonne, found out she needed heart valve surgery. She would walk from the car to my front door and she would have to stop because she could hardly breathe. Doctors said surgery was urgent, but now they're still waiting and won't see the doctor until May. From February to May, that's pretty, that's a pretty long time um, for something that he was wanting to get done as soon as possible. It blows her mind to think, you know, this could help me live longer. How much worse is it getting? We reached out to all the major hospitals in Houston to find out when they will start elective procedures. And basically, each one has a different plan. They're prioritizing patients based on several factors, but mostly outpatient procedures like mammograms and CT scans is what's going to be starting first. I'm health reporter Haley Hernandez, KPRC Channel 2 News.